whatever this is, is pitiful. It is literally like spitting on my face and slapping me. This is how bad this product is. What's up guys, Derek, MarPlateSmartAids.com. Today we are going to be talking about what may just be the worst pre-workout of all time, question mark. This was posted by Tennis Medical on the subreddit. Um, the caption, just wow, dude. 60 servings, it is ma energy focus formula in jungle berry flavor with a bear on the front. Now, before we look at the formula, let's look at, uh, well actually, let's take a peek. Oof, <laughs> okay. We took a peek. See what the comments are like. My piss probably has better dosages. How much money? What an efficacious dose, what's an efficacious dose of pee? Connor Murphy wants to know your location. That's just some vitamins, bruh. I can eat my girl's lip gloss and make better gains than this shit. Sigma male grind set by a total fucking dummy. Serving size one tub per workout. <laughs> Clown emoji, our formula so energy packed that one small jar is equal to 75 cans of Red Bull. What the fuck, is that what it actually says? I guess we will find out. Clown emoji, not a pre-workout though. Where the hell you even get that, LMAO? Wow, just fucking have coffee and an orange, dude. <laughs> an orange with your fucking coffee, that's a weird combo. Unless it costs five bucks, I'd pay $5 not to use it. It's 35 before shipping and tax. Like what the fuck, dude? In bold italics. Um, I can suck on some clit juice and get more of a buzz than that. Super physiological flare. This isn't even a pre-workout though. It's an energy powder. And somehow that makes it better. As long as it, as long if a pre-workout has caffeine flavor and color, it will sell like hotcakes. I've actually seen worse, believe it or not. I would love to know where. Better off with the multivitamin. 100 plus 5 plus 200 plus 140, nowhere near 1200 milligrams LMFAO. Look at the servings and price. If it's around 15 to 20, it ain't bad. The scoop is so small, I cannot fit the tip of my pointer finger in it. I can fit 13 scoops of this into one total war scoop. Burn it to the ground. They actually make scoopers for one gram. In its defense, at least from the photos, it's marketing itself as an energy drink, not a pre-workout. What the fuck? Four dead emojis. Skulls. Amazes me how little effort some of these companies put into the shit, LMAO. You think you've tried a bad one and then I see this. Basically just flavored caffeine. Take a breath of air, you'll get better energy. My mom's compot has more kick than that. It is cheap as dirt, because the ingredients are cheap as dirt. <laughs> Serving size is 1.2 grams, LOL. Should be 30 times that amount. All right, so I went to their website. We're on drinkmod.com. We have, you can see how big the scoop is there that they're putting in as they mix it. So you already know it's a very low amount of ingredients. So presumably this is going to be just stimulants and nothing else because what the fuck else could you fit in that? Be a beast with ma energy. Don't let long days or hard crashes wreck your gaming. Get ma free. The, try the new wave of gaming energy for free. Taste the difference. Try ma for free. Pick your flavor and all you pay on your first order is $6.99 for shipping. Looks cool, I guess, for a gaming supplement. Why ma energy? The taste you crave. Four flavors you can customize your drink experience. No grit, drink for gamers. No more pre-workouts with extra ingredients. Get simple energy made just for you. Okay, so it's not trying to have, you know, citrulline, creatine, betaine, all this shit. Well, I guess betaine you could argue, but I mean, like it's creatine you could argue too from a neurological aspect. But anyways, it's not like nitric oxide precursors and shit like that, hyperhydrating agents. It is mainly neurological. So presumably nootropics and stimulants. So let's get into it. They have, their breakdown of products is energy shakers, glasses, shirts, mouse pads, and sour powder. What the fuck? Sour powder. Sweet is nice. Sometimes you need a little more bite. Sour powder. Fucking $9.99 for a goddamn sachet? Jesus. Uh, energy. All right, here we go. So, R.I.P. Harambe? What the fuck? Okay, well, let's look at that. We have a gorilla on here, so fuck it. Let's look at that one. Um, you know, it looks kind of cool, I guess. Um, let's look at the uh, breakdown. So 35 bucks, specifically formulated to give gamers an edge over the competition. Our prop energy and our proprietary blend, so you're already a little bit sketched out, gives you a sugar-free, no crash energy boost, sharpening your perception, accelerating your reactions. Our formula is so energy packed that one small jar is equal to 75 cans of Red Bull. So Red Bull caffeine content is... 77.4 milligrams per can. And then it also has a 
glucuronolactone and some other shit in it that is uh, of note, like the G Fuel that was like one fucking sixth the dose of the one can of Red Bull, which is like not a super heavily dosed product to begin with. Um, so I guess we will see, like, is it 75 times more potent? We'll fucking find out. Like you would fucking die if it was 75 times as potent. So I don't know why it's saying that. Okay, so now we click the breakdown, supplement facts, 60 servings. There is five calories per scoop. 100 milligrams of vitamin C. Wow, awesome. Vitamin B6 and B12, because we all know that we can't get our vitamins in through our diet or through a multivitamin. We have to get it through our gamer sup with nothing else. You know, we're not looking for an actual broad spectrum multivitamin. We just want a few of the random, you know, vitamins to make it seem like, you know, we're doing something healthier. Meanwhile, we actually have sucralose and fucking, you know, artificial colors and shit. Nothing wrong with that necessarily, but it's, you know, it's just funny how these people try and put in like vitamin C, bro. Like, what are you like? Are you an energy formula? Are you a multivitamin? Like, what are you trying to focus on exactly? Like, why not take this, the money you spent on this and put it more down here where you're severely lacking energy and focus blend 140 milligrams. Okay. So we already know of the caffeine, this is in descending order of how concentrated it is. So the highest dose ingredient is this, second highest dose is this, second, third highest is this, fourth, fifth. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> natural caffeine. We have five ingredients here and they're 75 times as potent as Red Bull, which has 77 point, what was it? 77.4 milligrams of caffeine. So. Let's just say hypothetically, like we're, there's no fucking way. Like we don't even have double the amount of caffeine and we have four other ingredients to get through still. So let's just assume they're even using the same amount of caffeine as Red Bull. So let's say you have 77.4 milligrams. That leaves you with like 60 something that you're left over with to get out of these. So L-tyrosine, what's an efficacious dose? L, like a gram, I would love to see at least that, you know, 750 milligrams, 500, the absolute low end. But what do we actually have in here? What do we realistically have when we have 60, what is that? So, okay, so we go 77.4 subtracted by 140. We have 62.6 .6 milligrams to work with. <laughs> or 62.6 .6 milligrams to work with. So L-tyrosine, let's say we have like, in descending order of, I don't know, like 40? Let's say we have 40. So we have 40 milligrams of tyrosine, which is butt fuck all, literally nothing. Drop your nuts on my head, even worse than G Fuel does. All right, so we're at 22.6 milligrams left. Um, I don't know, L-theanine, what? We have like 10 milligrams maybe, efficacious dose. I would put at, at least, well, fuck, I guess if your caffeine is this low, then maybe I would not be doing, you know, 100 to 200 milligrams of L-theanine because at that point you might just become fucking sleepy. I'm not really sure. So whatever this is, is pitiful. It is literally like spitting on my face and cock slapping me. This is how bad this product is. So we have maybe 10 milligrams of L-theanine. Now again, the proportions could be, you know, we could have 50 milligrams caffeine, a little bit more tyrosine, a little bit more theanine. But at the end of the day, these are all like double digit dosages that are fucking trash. L-theanine, maybe, okay, 10 to 20 milligrams, maybe efficacious dose. You know, I'd like to see a hundred in there, you know? Astaxanthin, our favorite thing that supposedly preserves the high quality nature of krill oil that is heavily marketed to make you buy it at a marked up premium price over top of fish oil, even though the amount of EPA and DHA you can actually yield out of krill oil is subpar as fuck and is heavily hyped by Rhonda Patrick, if I recall correctly. Astaxanthin, nothing wrong with Rhonda Patrick, by the way, I just don't like the hype behind krill oil because it's something I bought into too. And I used to spend way too much fucking money on it when I could have just got high quality omega threes the entire time from normal fish oil. Sastaxanthin, a something you'll find in fucking krill oil. Is there any evidence that it's actually useful in an energy and focus context? No, there's fucking none, dude. Like the and lysium berry. What do we? What do I have? Like one milligram? Like one? Are we copying G Fuel? We're gonna put in one. Like the, here they have a proprietary blend, so they don't have to show how blatantly bad. They're cock slapping you. Like this would literally be broken down as like 50 milligrams natural caffeine, you know, 50 milligrams tyrosine, 30 milligrams theanine, 10 milligrams astaxanthin, like whatever the fuck. Like that's that's kind of what we're looking at roughly. You know, you could vary the fucking proportions a little bit here and there, but that's ballpark what we're looking at here. So is this even an efficacious amount of fucking, like I imagine the caffeine in there is at a dose that actually yields an effect. So they wouldn't be that dumb to not put in at least a Red Bull amount of caffeine 
I would imagine, because that's the only thing that's going to be blatantly, obviously working when you take this shit. You're not gonna really feel L-tyrosine at 100 milligrams. You're not gonna feel L-theanine energizing you at 100 milligrams. You're not gonna feel astaxanthin, certainly. You're not gonna feel fucking lysine berry. So caffeine is at least at the 77.4 milligram amount. So that's leaving us with the 62 point fucking six amount, if I recall correctly, 70. Okay, yeah, just the double checking. The Red Bull was 77.4, so then subtracted 62.6. Left to work with, we're probably putting in, I don't know, 40 milligrams of tyrosine, probably putting in like fucking, <laughs> like, I don't know, 15 of LP9, five of this, fucking, like, who cares, dude? Like, this is fucking sawdust, bro. This is nothing. This is flavored caffeine again. Is there anything wrong with that necessarily? No, there's not. It's just the way they market it is fucking absurd. Our formula is so energy packed that one small jar is equal to 75 cans of Red Bull. How the fuck did you quantify that in any capacity whatsoever? I would argue Red Bull is more potentially more effective than this shit when you actually break down what's in it. Um, like, sure, you have tyrosine at a goddamn shit dose. You have some l theanine, so maybe you're a bit better. But I mean, like, ultimately, you're selling caffeine powder. Which is fine, but don't like hype yourself up to be something you're not. You're not the fucking premium formulated goddamn gamer sup to give you an edge over your competition. You're a fucking prop blend with caffeine and flavor. That's what you fucking are. So that is my opinion of my energy. Absolute trash. It is like probably maybe even worse than G Fuel. Fuck, I'd have to go look at the G Fuel formula again, but I'm pretty sure this is this is even worse than G Fuel. This is probably this isn't the worst pre-workout of all time, but this is the worst gamer supplement of all time. For sure. And if this is worked, they don't market it as a pre-workout, notably. It's marketed as an energy supplement for gamers, which is fine, but fuck. Prop blends to hide your trash. 140 milligrams. This is but fuck nothing, bro. This is absurd. Like, look how much of this grammage is filled by the other ingredients section. We have 1,340 milligrams of fucking raw materials here. And of that, how many is actually actives? It's like all your fucking sucralose, your fucking malic acid, all this bullshit, which is fine to be in there. But the fact that this is marketed as 75 times more potent than Red Bull, absolutely absurdity. So anyways, that is my stance on raw, ma energy. Fucking brutal, dude. Brutal. Definitely trying to uh, cash in on the gamer craze. And uh, again, if they can market this well and people enjoy drinking and it tastes good, that's fine. Could be a good thing, you know, but don't hype it up to be something it's not. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplaysmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplaysmoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, not bitchy, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Get high quality oversight from doctors who understand hormone optimization, replacement therapy, um, standard lifestyle interventions too for naturals who just want to optimize their performance slash quality of life slash whatever it is that you're seeking. It's overall health. Um, as well as a better version than uh, this shit. If you want an actual nootropic formula or an actual energy formula tailored to doing something and maxing out your focus to a degree that is actually worth spending the fucking money on, and you don't just want flavored caffeine, you want something with an actual efficacious dose of stimulants and more than just caffeine, things that actually are going to help get you locked in, things are gonna help you get more mental clarity, get more acuity, get sharper, get fucking stay awake longer. Um, not that I recommend that necessarily, but it certainly is what people use that kind of stuff for. You can check out, check out Gorilla Mode Energy. That is kind of like our competitor to these, uh, you know, G Fuel type garbage, you know, energy supplements. For gamers, Gorilla Mode Energy. I might come out with my own just like gamer themed product at some point because Clearly people are only buying our products for pre-workout purposes and less people are seeing that Gorilla Mode Energy is actually useful in a fucking, you know, productivity, entrepreneurship, gaming, whatever context, but it could definitely be a super suitable alternative that's actually useful to G Fuel, to fucking my energy, to any of this kind of shit. So check out Gorilla Mode Energy if you want. It's at a competitive price point when you use my discount, discount code DC10. It's pretty much the exact same fucking price, but you know, a billion times more effective literally 75 times more effective than my energy if you didn't know and gorilla mind smooth an actual high dose nootropic formula that actually has maxed out dosages of cholinergics and things that are going to help with the inhibition of acetylcholinesterase backfilling you know acetylcholine production all this kind of shit that's actually going to help you with information retention mental acuity sharpness 
et cetera. And those can be stacked alongside one another. If you want a max dose of something that's going to keep you awake and fucking locked in, as well as something that actually helps your cognitive health, those can be stacked or they can be used separately. If you're just somebody who wants the energy versus, you know, the actual nootropic components. So that is a discount code in the video description below, as well as a link to my nootropics, as well as my pre-workout formulas, Gorilla Mode, um, Gorilla Mode Nitric, et cetera, and anything else I'm associated with, it is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.